fresh, money fresh, money fresh, money fresh. <laughs> Wine that was sharing with the German tits be your boy to new Jehu Young got me in true you heard boom suit in the building uh screaming you know what I'm saying look yo I can't do nothing but say thank you for the love y'all been showing a brother every fucking day I'm talking about every day I get on this because I like four or five more subscribers it ain't as much as a lot of people but nigga, that's fire. Every fucking time I turn around, nigga, new subscriber. Hey, yo, you funny. This shit cold. I like this shit. I miss New Orleans all that. I'm like, I ain't know that many people from New Orleans wasn't in New Orleans no more, you hear me? And to be real with you, it's so fucked up in New Orleans. I didn't even think they got on YouTube down there. I love my people. Yeah. It's like a fucking war zone of of the sort if you that's why we got our own lingo which brings me to what is important <laughs> the balls of this shit here <clears throat> I'm gonna have to edit this shit I see cause I be needing my like, monetary funds and all the likes and love y'all been giving me you know them bitches only give nigga like three dollars I need a couple more maybe a million or two to get a hundred dollars. Ain't that some shit? Boy, YouTube don't fucking play. You go viral and all you get is a hundred dollars. But that's all right with me, you hear me? Cause I ain't doing nothing clowning with y'all. Yeah, relax, show some love in that This part two to how to pronounce English in New Orleans, you hear me? Like, I'm talking about back to the whole love shit. Y'all been showing so much love. I done got in touch with people in fucking Denmark. Uh, Germany, the, the Caribbean, so many people all around, you hear me? Everybody in the comment section, cheap up. This is part two. I'm shouting y'all out on some shit. I appreciate all the love y'all been giving, you hear me? And let me know that it's not only New Orleans that, you know, fuck up the English language. You see what I'm saying? We fuck up the language in a good way, in the best way actually, to where the whole world try to adopt our shit. That's how bad we are at being good. Or how good we are at being bad, whatever the fuck. Either way it go, we the shit. You hear me? And everybody who say cold drink is the shit. You hear me like? And it's another one I forgot to put on the last one. You heard me. When we say you heard me, we're not asking if you heard me. They had to do it in the comment like, yeah, I heard you. I ain't asking if you heard me like, you heard me like? Like, I'm saying you heard me. I'm not asking if you heard me. You heard me. Back into this shit, man. We got some good ones. I can't even fucking front with you. Go like my shit. Comment, subscribe to my shit. And fuck everybody else. That's how we rocking over here. Got me with it. I found out my DNA. Y'all check that video too. That bitch cold like you remember. But then go on Ancestry.com, buy your own shit, figure out what you is, and let's talk about that shit. Isn't it something awesome to find out that? <laughs> Isn't it awesome to find out that you might be something other than <laughs> the nigga that you were labeled as? Ancestry, if y'all want to drop me a check, do that. Let's jump into this shit, you hear me? First. <coughs> that happened. First one on this, you hear me? We got goddamn Buku, you hear me? And the way that they spelled it is the way that we said Buku. You know, a lot of people don't even know that was like a French word, whatever the fuck the French say. Buku, Buku, you hear me? The bitch spoke to me in a lot. That's a lot, you hear me? <laughs> Nigga, look here. This is like. Mardi Gras. This is like bourbon on Mardi Gras, right? So this is just buku people out here, and they ain't fit to even much fuck with Bourbon Street on Mardi Gras day. Like Mardi Gras go down, and then tourists come out that bitch and be wanting to like, I'm going to Bourbon. Bitch, that's the worst time to go to Bourbon. Do you know how bad it can get on you if you are a tourist on the Bourbon of the streets? It can get bad real fucking fast, you know hear I me? Mean? So most New Orleans people, we only must fuck with Bourbon Street because it be boo cool people out that bitch on Mardi Gras Day. <laughs> Make you understand how we talk. And sometimes a nigga can be boo cool stupid. So boo cool just, just mean a lot. 
bitch, you son. You buku stupid if you fuck that hoe without a rumble. On to the next one. What's young with the German sis? Be your parts of new joke. It's something about New Orleans people, the way we fucking say hello. This is so complicated to the average neophyte. No, we say hello in so many niggas, but woo, wah, yeah, eh, woo, that was yeah, the best. Insults go so good in the city. Only a certain type of nigga actually say wah, you know hear I me? Mean? Your voice got to have this, you hear this, uh, that shit, your voice got to have that to jump down, wah, right, you hear know I me? Mean? If you ain't wah, with the uh, it's something that's happening to my fucking shit right now when I talk. You got to wah with that bitch, you hear me? The way that you could tell a nigga going wah correctly. See the way this nigga lips is? All this, he lick, it's like a nigga lick that, and then all of it just stank, nigga. Shit. Them niggas that keep their face like that say wah perfect. So if you looking for a nigga to say wine the right way, go find one of them niggas who lip tops lip stain, and they'll wine the right way for you. If you a terrorism, terrorism, ter terrorist, terrorist, Taurus, Taurus, drum drum. I do the biggie, 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 yeah, with a fucking beat away in that fast DJ Jubilee. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck, I don't what is the fucking Dina Wiener though, like, I mean, I know what it is. Where did it come from as far as, like, one of the dances that you just, the Dina Wiener fit with every fucking dance. I don't care what nobody said. Whatever beat you play could be the old schoolish beat in the world. Nigga just, it's so real. <laughs> but nah, man, that fucking Dina Wiener, I swear, I'm about to bring that bitch back and Every one of my videos, I'm like, whap the fucking bean and win. And you got to respect it to get what, what, what? You can't be from the city and not fuck with the bean and win. I think it's against the law, okay? Listen, man. <laughs> Down bad. <laughs> Hey, them bitches down bad for that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thinking that's a fucking poor boy. Them bitches got a hoagie cut in half with the shrimp on that bitch. With all the yeah and the pickle and everything, you know what I mean? Then they won't, then they won't fuck around. They won't play around and put the remoulade on that bitch. Nigga don't even really eat a remoulade on the poor boy. Little man and little mustard on that bitch. Some niggas eat ketchup. They don't fuck with that room like sauce like that. I mean, even though that bit is good, that ain't a real poor boy. That's a fucking hoagie with a lie in the middle. That's down bad. Bitch, it's not even lying, Hammer. I'm trying to say like, what you trying to say, you know man? Like, trying to play a nigga with that. You know that's down bad. You know that's down bad. You hear me? But yeah, what, what, what? Ooh, bitch, no, they got the... Emmy Jimmy, police tennis, you hear me? I can't talk no shit, I got a pair of them motherfuckers right now. Man, fuck what you heard, man, nigga. Chucks was popping, but nigga parents was sometime not on the name brand side. You see what I'm saying? Them Emmy Jimmys, you could paint on them motherfuckers, make them your own shoe. I drew Mickey Mouse and Bugs Bunny on them. And nigga was like, oh, son of Emma Jim is shitting, you hear me? <laughs> but they still were in the gym, nevertheless. <laughs> so, talk about my shoes. It's all I had. It's all I thought we had enough for. <laughs> Flashback. <laughs> Look, that's one of the old school ones. They got a lot of y'all youngsters that'll never know about Emma Jimmys. But it is a tradition in the city to rib a nigga. If ribbon ain't on this list, we gonna have a problem, you hear me? Because the whole world say janking and cutting and all that shit. We say ribbon <laughs> like a frog. <laughs> ribbon. No, not dirty dozen. Rib. We gonna rib you if you have some image images on your feet, though. So, take heed. Just 
real fast. It's bad in New Orleans public school because you cannot go to school with just any type of clothes on. Even if you're wearing a fucking uniform, they, they found a way to single you out even in your motherfucking uniform if you did not have cell phone pocket double U dickies. You can have regular dickies. Regular khakis with the cell phone pocket. If you even had a double knee on the end, you could have a double knee and the cell phone pocket. If the motherfucker did not say dicky, nigga was coming rib you. You can have Jordans on your feet. As long as you didn't have cell phone pocket pants on, those Jordans were still in me. Jimmy. Break your heart, man. Go on to the fucking next man. Fucking hot sausage? Ugh. I don't fuck around. Stop eating meat on that level. You know what I'm saying? I don't just eat any old meat. You know what I'm saying? Buy any old bullshit from the stuff. You know what I mean? I'm more interested in the natural order of things. Shit like that. Fucking around though, son. If I was on my deathbed and I had went my whole life without, you know, ever eating meat. And I had just so happened to taste hot sauces one time in my life. On my deathbed, I would request the sauces that is hot of the patent, which is it is branded under that name, that dude, Lord. So fire with nothing. That bitch is good by itself. You could just eat hot sauces and elk is cool. Cause that bitch give you heartburn, but that is the best tasting heartburn you'll ever belch back up. I don't know where the fuck they make that shit, how they make it, but nigga, that bitch, that is life, you heard, man. And which leads us to a album, bro. You know what I'm saying? When they give a long explanation on some shit, you heard, man. All you got to do is respond by saying, hum, bro. And all is understood. No, no, not some all. All of the whole shit that you said, your whole lecture, three hours of speaking, 3,787 words being said each hour of the lecture, and Tom Russ sums it up as I understand everything that you just fucking said. <laughs> or if I disagree with you, but I know you're lying, but I'ma just, you know, see where this shit going. Nigga hit you with a um, bruh. So don't feel bad or don't feel good when a nigga hits you with a hum, bruh. Cause nigga might not believe nothing that your ass is saying. And nigga give you a hum, bruh, just to shut you the fuck up. That's how we roll in New Orleans, you it? The lingo! You hear me? Who else say hum, bruh, in the world? Let me know in the comment section. Who else say hum, bruh? Who else do all that, you hear me? Fuck all that shit, you hear me? Like all that duh, you hear me? Oh. <laughs> Ooh, they got the sick girl. Sick girl. That shit should bring back so many memories for so many females in the city. And I feel sorry. I'm so sorry for every girl I said. <sighs> you don't even care about the name that a person may go by. Nigga just hit you. Sick girl. Hey, come here. What your name is? Niggas is so rude. And don't be walking with your old lady because a nigga on bourbon. <clears throat> Especially when it's buku niggas on bourbon, you hear me? Nigga will up jump in his Emmy Jimmy's and holler out, say girl, to your old lady while she under your arm, you hear me? And then you gotta fuck around and pull out that yeah with the yeah on the nigga and turn old bitch nigga to a hot sauce. Sandwich that boy, fool that boy, you hear me? Make that boy slump with the sleep with the, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Cause that's how we roll it. Cause, Cause it's like that, Oh, I just seen the shine. Burberry bitch! Burberry! These bitches is shy. You understand what I'm saying? Before Katrina hit, nigga, this is the way you, if you wasn't online shopping with this shyness right here, you what? 95 per pair? 120 with the tax? Take three weeks to get to your house so nobody ever believed you had them at school anyway. Them bitches was shy, you hear me? Holy fuck up. Let's just bask in this shyness. How many of you parents out there had to go buy your children some of these motherfuckers from one of them random websites and got $80 taken from your ass? 
I think we all were gypped back in those days. I actually got mine. They fell apart a couple days into me walking to school in them, which led me to put my shoes in a book bag, place them in the locker when I got to school, and was fresh when I walked out the doors of those motherfuckers. Nigga, this is Shive. Enough said. Shive is basically a cheat. What is Shive? I don't even know if that's a word, but Shive is like just the best shit on the face of Earth and on the blank face of the dark side of the moon. That's what Shive is. You understand what I'm saying? So when they step out and say, bitch, I'm Shive as a motherfucker, that means I am now the wonder and the mystery that lies within the presence of the dark side of the moon. That is what I am. That is what Shive is, bitch. <laughs> G-Nice with the Jabos, with the tall T, G-Code. If you don't live by it, you probably was killed by it. Yeah, bitch, I got to tell you, yeah. The Silent Wolf. Nigga, this is the best Holland device on the face of the earth. It don't matter what you doing, where you at, how you feel. This will make you speak. Not just in silence or out loud. This will make you say or whine or whoa. Anything that we use for a wajam type. This motherfucker make you talk. You don't matter fuck. I don't give a fuck how beefed out you is in the streets or how you know, <clears throat> walking through New Orleans, okay? You could be walking through the hood and run into a murderer. I mean, that nigga could've just said some shit like, man, fuck everybody, bitch, I'ma burn whoever else I see when the nigga walk up, bitch, I don't give a fuck, you hear me? You could say some shit like that, and you heard the nigga say that shit, and then you'd be like, fuck, I gotta try to walk past this nigga. This is what kills all of that bullshit. The nigga walk up to that boy, that kill it all right there. Just a simple... That make a nigga feel so cool and secure like you telling me I'm cool enough for you to just say hello and you don't even know me. You are nice, sir. You are kind, sir. Sir. That shit don't mean honk your truck horn, okay? That shit is actually loud in the city. And for some reason, these in the city like truck, you hear me? But I digress to some shit. This is how you holler. No matter how you, you be pissed off, happy, and when you do that to someone, they will feel like, well damn, that nigga spoke to me, man. Matter of fact, and it should just feel good, you know what I'm saying? I think white people got it back, they be, that's, that's not it, it's this. And then you be like, and then that nigga be like, <laughs> But that's how it is in the city. I love that shit. That's that, that's that real love. Uh oh, that's the end of the list. What you mean? See, what I was trying to do is just make the pictures blend in with my sentences. Cause guess what? That's just how New Orleans shit is. You'll hear all of these words in one sentence. Let me see if I can do that. You hear me? Buku niggas was on the corner on Bourbon Street, hollering wine and doing a bean and wing. And I was looking like, man, y'all down bad for that. Y'all image image. But I got this hot sauce of sandwich and I'm hungry as the fuck and I'ma eat that bitch. And I'ma chill right by y'all boys on some shit, you hear me? Cause even though y'all got the image in his own, I fuck with y'all boys, you hear me? For real. And then there's the ham, bro. That's a whole explanation in its own. And you see a fine chick walk up there, say girl, say girl. And she just keep on walking, you hear me? That's just how it be, you know what I'm saying? And then you feeling like she thinks she's shy because she got on some fucking Burberry g nights. Them bitches is shy though, you hear me? Like, and you can't hate on her no more, and you can't hate on the fact that she did not holler back at you because you got on image image, and she got on g nights with fake Burberry on them. And all you can do is hum bro that there, you know what I'm saying? And then, at the end of it all, when you heading home and you ain't got nothing else to do or say or worry about, in a day, so find a little pine, you know You leaving from by your partner, you know And the boy like, hey, where you going, bitch? Like, man, look, I'm about to, man, I'm about to head to the crib, you know I'm gonna fuck with y'all, boy. I'm like, all right, son, you dab nigga off. Boom, boom, all that shit, you But when you walking away, nigga hit you with the... Or you might be on your way going and then see one of your partners that you really won't go holler at, but this is all you have to do. And all thoughts and transfers are instantly 
maneuvered back and forth. Y'all know exactly what y'all was thinking and saying. Niggas just do this. Man, that's, that's really all it takes. You hear me? So yeah, man. Fucked up on my words. It's your boy Tanuki. Young Mr. Straight from the Boot. However, y'all won't get in contact with a nigga. Do that. Because I'm trying to make money off of this shit. In turn, I can do more for y'all and with y'all with this type of shit. Yeah, man. So anyway, I'm just fucking with y'all, yeah, man. Comment, like, subscribe, my shit, Jeremy. Y'all go fuck with me. Hey, bye. And once again, I appreciate all the love, you hear me? To all the people who gave me some ideas on a list, you hear me? Thank you. Because I needed that shit. Yeah, but that's Uncle Justin there. Boom. Do I remiss, family? Bam. Niggas ain't really spitting yeah. I'm shitting bricks, I'm hitting lit. Yeah. Fuck with me and I have you hit. Yeah. Know the shit is winning on a dark side, but a banana split, it ain't no camera glitch. Yeah. Like shit is flash from the police. Yeah. You either dip on them little homie, yeah. or get caught in the system, no more peace. Uh -huh. Stay clipping the streets in New Orleans. Yeah. Bullshit, you will see it in all things. <laughs> Cold winters, all spring, rain and rain, they we bang it in all heat. <laughs> it was strained with the pain and the call of thieves. Uh -huh. Hate mad niggas get up off of me. Before I up the glock, come off the back and choppers go to rock, I'm on a compacture. Hey, I'm in shots, the top notch roster. <laughs> it ain't no pussy off of me, roster. All season balls go. With that rock and call shots, I'm going to pocket straight shot. My old lady still a crazy with the pop top, but she'll squeeze it tight before I go for the bread. You heard what I said, my lady is ahead with the heat, with the fever, the heart of a lion, the name of Mufasa. I'm a giant amongst these men. Y'all green on the fucking tin, can't fall back at ease. No fucking attention factory, we're still on the whip and the whip game proper up on the soft hill. Whip a motherfucking soft itch to a hard break. Hit the motherfucking boulevard, hitting hard legs. Pocket cut, baby, no water whip, yeah.